Good morning, everybody. Sorry, the sinuses and swallowing can be a real pain, but they are. I don't have a headache today, thank goodness. So, um, I'm trying to make sure that I can get on my page and hopefully see uh, what all's going on. Um, although I probably won't be able to answer a lot of questions because this is a lot of information that I'm going to be going over today. Um, and I wanted to, hey Janet, how are you doing this morning? Um, I'm going to make a recap of what I did here on the fireplace screen. Is first, uh, it had some oil painting on it and I did not want that to telegraph through. So I used my Orbital Sander 220 and I lightly touched it, didn't do a lot of, and this is plastic, it's not wood. Um, and then after I did that, I took vinegar and water 50-50 wiped it down and then I came in with Miss Lynn's first step and it really took a lot more of the crud off. And then I came in with the gray swamp mud uh, that is the primer. Applied it uh, with just a chip brush, uh, one of these. And then I came in with her soy wax bar and layering bar and I just lightly drug it in the places where I wanted to have the distressed look and up close you can really see it gives a very natural distressed look and that's what I that's what I like um, and then I came in with Miss Lillian's no wax chalk paint um, cobblestone and listen I just done one coat and it wasn't heavy, and I used the uh, round brush. Yeah, I've got gel stain on there, and I gotta get it off, but anyway. Um, and then once the, uh, that which it was, I did that in the live, uh, it dried that quick. And then I came back in with Miss Cillian's gel stain, the color cafe. And then I removed and manipulated it and I used gauze. But there is a live video about that, and uh, which is not hard to find on my page. Just go over on videos and um, you can find it. And also everything that I am showing y'all, I carry. Um, if there's anything that you see during this process that you would like, let me know. Uh, and if it's not on my website, 2chattychicks.com, just send me a message and let me know what it is that you're looking for, and I'll do everything I can to help you out. And then today, we are going to be putting, this is the bottom of the transfer that we're going to be putting on. Let's see. Hello, Michelle. How are you doing today? I hope everybody is having a good day. <laughs> Mine is much better today because the sinus headache is gone. Um, and I, as you can see, now this is, I'll kind of explain just a little bit. This does not come to where this is just one piece. This was a much larger piece. In fact, there was six pieces to this one transfer. And I had taken the other pieces that went with this one, and I'd done a, um, a window. And I'd done the mirror finish on it on the one side, and then I put pieces of this transfer on the front side of it. It's very pretty. So I thought, you know what, I need to use this, and the colors with this I think really go nicely with this. And as you can see, I've got a line right here. And I didn't want that over here, so I just went ahead and scooted it to the edge. And I wasn't quite sure if I would like this here. But you know what? That isn't going to bother me, I don't think. This is going to be, get over here on this side. This is going to be the top part. And I really don't think that is going to make that much of a difference. But if it does, I have effects. Because I have another transfer that has a whole bunch of little of flowers like this. And then what I'll do, if I don't like this once I get it finished, that line there, which I'm thinking about distressing the edges, don't know yet, I will come in because this, even though it's from another transfer, this color matches that. And I will cut this off and I will just let that flower be right there and I think that would take care of it and it would look fine but I'll wait and worry about that later. 
and whenever I put this up here, I am really thinking about, because I have the molds that do the flowers like this, and I'm really thinking about putting one up here and maybe incorporating some in here to give it a 3D effect. Um, so I, I'm really thinking that's what I'm gonna do. And although most of the time I use the Amazing, which is a two-part rosin, and that what this is what gives you that look. And I didn't bring any out here. Oh, yes, I do. And see, then I will just spray paint them, and then I use Miss Cillian's Gilding Jewels on them. Um, but I used some, oh, and I also carry this. Um, it's $14.95. I know that you can get it at Hobby Lobby with a 40% off, but someone told me the other day that they had tried to use the 40% off coupon, and they wouldn't let them. So, and I don't even list this on my website because I can't keep it in stock. So, but if you want it, just let me know. Um, and if you're, I have used this, now not taking the large molds like this, but more of the average size, say like this and the smaller ones. As a test, I took and just laid them out. And I just kept mixing and pouring, mixing and pouring. And I got around 50 molds out of one box. If you do that, a clue, wear gloves. Because one of the mixes is uh, one of the bottles, it has a sticky residue. And that Ricky, uh, Ricky, 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 <laughs> that I haven't had a thing to drink but coffee. <laughs> um, Residue will make your fingers turn black and it takes forever to get that mess off. So wear gloves if you do that. But I tried something the other day that I have to admit I do like and it's the this here. And I'm already out. I've got to get another order in. In fact, I've got two, two ladies waiting. But it's a very, I didn't like the other clays because I have arthritis in my hands. And so, this is totally different. It's very soft. It's kind of like porcelain feel. So, I'm able to manipulate it really well. And I think this is what I'm going to use on this one because I'm not going to paint them dark. I don't want them dark. I want them light, and I'll show you why. Um... This is, this is one that I've already done, and look at that detail using that clay. Is that not nice? Um, the one thing to remember is with using the clay like this, is whenever you take them out, and I'll turn this down, and you're not going to believe how easy these come out. Um, you want to take an, and have an area that you can lay them out, and I will probably use wax paper. Uh, that way wood won't uh, pull the uh, moisture out. So I want it on something that's not going to suck out the moisture. I want it to dry naturally. And it'll take about 24 hours for this to dry. But as you can see, and I've done this for a reason, you can see that it's a little crooked. Okay? Well, whenever you take these out of your mold, you want to place them on your wax paper and just take... Um, tape very gently and just kind of lay it down that way it doesn't curl up and it'll stay flat and if you're going to be painting something say I was going to paint this white or say I made up the molds and I put them on glued them on and then I was going to paint it don't do that <laughs> because a lot of times if you have intricate ones like those then you're going to be having to go in and paint around all that so paint your piece first do these let them then you can glue them on and tight bond wood glue is what a lot of people use and I haven't got any of that so this is what I'm going to use it's the old timey cement uh, glue and it has the the brush like that so that's just a, uh, a hint so uh, but I'm going to turn this down and I'm going to show y'all 
first I'll show you what I'm going to do with the molding clay. Um, I'm going to use Miss Lillian's Gilding Jewels. I did um, a live the other night in my VIP group, and I just playing around. I hadn't done that with this yet, and I really like the way that it turned out. I'm just going to be using a stencil brush, and I'm going to dab it down in there, and I may offload a little bit. It's kind of hard to hold. But, you know, it's a, it's a completely different look than what I've been using. So it gives me a different avenue and say, I want a little more. Oh, y'all. And to take these and put si size on there, foil size, and then rub foil on it. Mm, that'd be pretty. I'll have to do that. Um, and then I'm going to come in and just touch my finger to the gold very lightly. I think I've got too much. And then just highlight that. See, that really gives a completely different, and that looks old. And to me, that's going to go with the look that I'm going, well, you all can't see that because it's so little. But I'm going to be doing the big flower like this and maybe some of the smaller ones. And I want to stack them because that's going to give me that 3D look. And I may put them somewhere in here after I get the transfer on. So, um... Let me put the lids on those. I sure could have swore I brought my coffee out here. Because with this sinus stuff, my throat, I'm telling you. Okay, I'm going to turn this down so that y'all can watch how easy it is to do the clay. And, ooh, sorry about that. Boy, y'all almost went in the floor. Uh, if y'all have any questions, um... I will answer them once we're through um, because I really want to get as much of this transferred off and show y'all how easy the transfers are to do as well. And you can see how easy that is and you don't have to put any kind of powder in the transfers at all. I mean, this is going to come out so nice, and it really picks up every detail. The other clay was just too hard for me to work with, and that's why I just always used the, um, the two-part rosin. And see, and it doesn't take very long. And I, and you know, a lot of uh, people will use those uh, brayers to flatten it out. Well, I couldn't find mine. I still haven't found it. So, I used the next best thing that happened to be by me at the time. And it doesn't take that much. And see how easy that is to keep it inside where you don't have any lap over. Um, oh, here we go. See, I can just use the bottle. Just roll that out and it works perfect. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and watch. Look at that. Is that not just, the, look at the detail that that gives. So what I'll do is I'll take my wax paper and I'll lay that down and I'll take my tape and I'll go across this way and that way and that way it'll dry flat. And it'll take about 24 hours and then once it's dry, I'm gonna use my gilding jewel and my brush to uh, put the colors in that I want. Now, the modeling clay that's a lot of clay. And I believe this is $22.95. That's a lot of clay. That'll make a lot of molds. It has a two-year shelf life. Um, and you just want to make sure that you... And you can take each one of these and put them in a Ziploc bag and then put them back in there if you want. I haven't done that yet because I'm probably going to use it up pretty quick. But you just want to make sure that you get that closed really well. And put the lid back on. Just don't lose your lid. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I'll find it. There we go. 
Okay, so what I am going to do, let me see if I can catch up here. What is the name of the clay? It is, it is modeling clay. And like I said, I am out of it and the amazing. I can't keep it. Um, I have an order coming in of the amazing that should be here in about three or four days. And um, I have to place an order for the modeling clay today. Oh, Kelly, I love the clay. And well, and I like the raw. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, you know what? You turn your phone on Do Not Disturb and it never fails. <laughs> Somebody's gonna call you if you forget to do that. <laughs> so anyway, um, I am going to lay this down so that y'all can see. Um, and you know, I'm not sure if I want to do anything to the sides. I don't wanna make it too busy. So I may not do anything over here. I, I, I think I'm just liking it just the way that it is. And I'm really hoping, you know what, I'm gonna set that up here because I'm afraid y'all are not gonna be able to see that that well. Get this out of the way. Oh, and there's one other thing before I completely get started that I'm thinking about doing. You know what? I'm going to wait till the next time to do that. Um, I have an easy way to do crackle. So um, I don't want to bombard y'all with too much. So I am going to set this up here. And hopefully I can get my camera manipulated to where y'all can see. This will be my exercise for the day. But you know what? What I like about this is not hard to do. So let me see. I want to make sure y'all can see really well. Now, you could probably take and put this in place without doing it this way. This is just the way that I've always done it uh, because we used to do Modelo's. And this is the way we've done it to keep things the way they're supposed to be. Is you don't want to touch the design here. So I'm just going to pull that up and I have it taped over there where it's not going to move. And then I'm going to come and I'm going to cut this off. And then I'm going to lightly take my hand and put that into place. And the trick to um, getting your transfer to get started is to get a bubble underneath it. And once you do that, it's like it just goes really quick. You can hear that, hear that bubble. And something else that I do because I don't want this to be completely perfect because it's kind of got a little bit of distress. I, I glazed it and manipulated the gel stain to where it give that old look. There's some crackle up here. So I'm wanting these flowers to crack. So whenever I'm getting that bubble, I'm going to let this push and pull. And you can kind of watch and see. And that way it will crack the flowers will have a cracked look to them. Now you watch, it won't do it today. <laughs> and the transfer is cold, so it may take a little bit longer to get it off. But the main thing is to get that crack, that bubble up underneath. I didn't realize it was going to be that noisy. But the main thing is I will get this one on and then uh, I'll do the other one later. And if it doesn't go one way, come back the other way. See, whenever I come back this way, that just, that air caught right up underneath and it come off. And then you can kind of lift it up. 
you can see where you are. See, I like that. It is a lot of the same color, but it, there's just a hint of a little bit of white in there, and it kind of glistens, and that, I like it. That's what I wanted. And because of that, I had almost changed my mind, and I thought, no, I'm gonna stick with it because that was my first gut of what I wanted. And you know what? I may even not let it completely transfer right here. I'm kind of thinking I won't. That way it will look like it was done like that on purpose. And you can see I'm pulling that up, but that's what I want. Yes, I do like that. And then I'm just going to make sure that the rest of it, and then you just take your hand and you can push it down and see here, I didn't go ahead and finish the flower right here. And I like that as well. So, so far, so good. except for that right there. So I'm still gonna hold this because I don't want this piece to slip and slide. So I'm gonna pull this up, hold my hand there, and then I'm gonna take and slightly put that into place. And that's down. And again, I'm not going for complete 100% coverage. I'm gonna have to hold that up just a little bit where I can get just a little bit of air. See what I did here? I hope y'all can see that. By the way that I did that and I wanted to do that, it gives me that crack I'm going for. Well. Oh, I'm loving how that's turning out right there. That is perfect. Slipped it up and see, and I broke my stick. Oh, yes. Yes, perfect. Now, I'm going to push that back down, just back where it was. I said I was. Yes, I'm, not, I'm just going to leave it. Because I, do, I want that to crack, and I'm afraid that it won't if I don't leave it. you do do that you want to be careful because it can slide up with you and I don't want it to do that I'm wanting it to stay right on that edge so I'm just going to manipulate it to make it do what I want it to do A lot of times, once you get started and this has touched, you can't pick it back up. But I think it's just because I've kept it cold. Oh, I love that. Perfect. Perfect. I know this is the boring part for y'all. <laughs> it is me too. Hey Sandy, how are you doing today? I hope everything is good. I 
thought about y'all last night. crack right there. Okay, I'm going to lift that up and see what we got. Oh, yes. I do want a little bit of that right there on there so I don't have the void. I'm getting in a hurry because I want to hurry up and see what it looks like with it all. Oh, yes. That looks like it's 100 years old. That's perfect. Now to make sure the next one does that, that's the key. <laughs> your transfers in your car because uh, the heat can ruin them. You want to make sure that you take them in their house. Almost there, y'all. Almost there. And I love this teal green. I think that is so pretty. Okay, there's a little bit right there I want to get off. Raise this up where y'all can see. Oh, you have, I'm so sorry. Sandy's daughter, y'all, lost her kitty yesterday, and we all know what that's like to lose our fur babies. Okay, what do y'all think? I love how that cracked. That's perfect. I know a lot of people don't want it to do that. They want it to be, um, you know, all intact, but this is the look I was going for. I really do like that. And let me see. Oh, and what I did down here on the bottom, I didn't tell y'all that. It had this white piece, like this right here, and I cut it off because I couldn't see and I wanted that to fit right along where that was. So that's what I'm gonna do with this one as well. You don't have to do that, but that's just what I'm going to do because it makes it easier for me to see. Okay. And 
I will not put y'all through the agony of having to watch me do this again, but I will put it on the same way. I will lift, since this is taped, I will lift this and I'll cut this off and then I'll start applying it. So I'm going to set this back here behind me out of the way. And now that I have bent that, now that there we go. So uh, once I'm done, I'll come on and I will uh, put a picture in there and let me get that out of the way. Okay. So if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll be sure to answer. And again, if you need any of the products that we talked about today, send me a message and I'll take care of you. So y'all have a blessed day and I will see y'all later. Bye y'all.